In order to give a tornado an EF classification, we don't actually measure the wind speeds inside the tornado. Instead, we look at the damage it caused afterwards. So that means you can't actually point to a tornado and say, that's an EF2 or an EF3. You won't know that information until afterwards. Let's take a look at an EF0 tornado. Not a lot of damage, maybe just a few roof shingles being blown off. An EF1 tornado, plenty more roof shingles being blown off, and you might even see a gutter or two coming down as well. An EF2 tornado, well now the roof can actually lift off the home and the home can be shifted off its foundation. By the time you're at an EF3 tornado, you have problems. The exterior walls can start to tip inwards. And an EF4, well the interior walls can start to collapse and even those safe rooms we tell you to go to may not save your life. An EF5 tornado completely blows the home off the foundation, leaving nothing but a concrete slab.